you know, forgive me at the full notes, but in action uh, this weekend and uh, a chance you guys get a preview of uh, the regional course. I mean, you guys always want to do well and I uh, compete, but the course that you guys are on Saturday, are you familiar with it and the importance of it to kind of the fact that it is going to be, uh, regionals are going to be there? Yeah, I, I mean, regionals and nationals this year, so we'll uh, end up racing this course three times. Um, yeah, it, it definitely makes a difference to be familiar with the course with all the the tricky spots, like when when you gotta get on the inside. And it, it helps um, definitely to know. So, and it's nice this year just having it on the west coast. So, you know, last year we were all over the place, regionals and nationals. So, it's not not too far. And travel time definitely takes a lot out of you too before a race. So, it's it's nicer to have it. What? Close to home. What uh, are the teams there uh, competing? There's always like you see the other those opponents and those rivals. Any teams you're looking forward to that going up against? You know, this weekend I'm not sure who's going to be there. I know I think um, some of the teams in our conference won't be because they raced last weekend, and then they'll be probably at Stanford next weekend. Um, I don't know why their coaches chose not to go to the preview meet. Uh, and maybe they've, they've seen the course before, but I, I would definitely prefer doing this one to Stanford next week. Um, so I'm, I'm really not sure who's going to be there. But. Last look I took, it's going to be um, Western Washington, Central Washington, Simon Fraser, who's ranked number one up there, and uh, um, a couple others from mostly the GNAC. Cal Baptist is going to be there. Yeah, Western yeah. Oregon, too. And yeah. Simon Fraser, the, they'll be a good one to, to see. I hear they're, they're doing really well this season. So far, just with their opening meet. So. so definitely, you know, you guys shined in your first uh, meet here at home uh, against teams, but now it's really uh, the competing against some of, some of the bigger schools and really the, a measuring stick to just kind of see where you guys are at. Just just talk about that going up against, you know, some other teams that are you know off to good starts as well. Kind of measuring where you guys are at this part of the season. Yeah, I, we looked great at the first meet, and and everyone ran awesome. It was it was it was fun to see us come in one through five on the girls' side, definitely. Um, but you, you don't normally see that because we will be up against better competition, and, and it'll. I think that that'll help everyone else personally in our in our races. Just having that competition, it's a, a little more of a push. So, uh, and some of the newer girls will get kind of a better taste of what racing is actually going to be like at the regionals and, and nationals level. So. I mean, obviously, you guys won the nationals last year, and so obviously, a goal that you guys want to do again. There's going to be schools competing now in this course, but for you. Uh, for other schools that are competing at this event, how big an advantage is it to, to be there competing? Oh, I think I think it's I don't know. I think it, it helps a lot. It's it's a huge advantage to know the course, um, the the type, the, the terrain. I, if there's hills, flat, whatever, just to just to be familiar with it. That's usually I'm whenever places host a meet, they usually do they call it a home home course advantage. You you're familiar with it. You you know exactly what's coming. You know exactly how far you've got to go, so I, I I think it's a huge advantage that we're getting to preview this before before the meets that uh, really matter. Right.